Conservation Center or Cruel Attraction? Outrage at tiny, chlorinated dolphin pools and humiliating tricks they are forced to perform at Australian Park, but bosses say it's good for their mental health. A dolphin park is under fire for forcing dolphins to perform humiliating tricks and live their lives out in small, chlorinated pools, but experts inside the center claim the animals are healthy and their shows help keep them mentally sound. Dolphin Magic in Coffs Harbour on the NSW Mid-North Coast offers the all-inclusive seal and dolphin experience, sealed with a kiss from the main attractions. But Ben Pearson from World Animal Protection is concerned by the center's operation labeling it an extremely cruel marine park, calling for the dolphins to be relieved from performing daily tricks. These are wild animals that are being forced to do these shows, they are made to swim with people on their backs, hug them and kiss them which is really demeaning for these very intelligent animals, he told Daily Mail Australia. On a recent visit to the park, which has 11 seals and 5 dolphins, Daily Mail staff were offered different in-water experiences which have Mr. Pearson and his colleagues worked up, but the on-site vet defended the practice. One of the major problems that animals in captivity can face is boredom. Animals have evolved to be busy and do not cope well if they have nothing to do, Dr. Dwayne March said. To make sure that our dolphins weren't stressed out by interacting with people, we studied their behavior and blood cortisol levels before and after interactions and we found no evidence of stress. Mr. Pearson would like to see the end to these interactions, and the tricks to one day be stopped altogether. I think we would see a lot more problems if we removed all the structure and interactions from their day, Dr. March said. Mr. Pearson is also concerned about the pools, which he says are roughly the size of a resort-style swimming pool not being big enough for the dolphins. They are extremely intelligent animals who dive 100s of meters below the surface and swim up to 100 kms a day, having them in these pools is like keeping a human locked in a bathroom, Mr. Pearson said. Three of their dolphins were born in captivity, the other two were caught a long time ago, when they were very young, he said. We would like to see dolphin magic investigate a sea sanctuary, to give their animals more space. But the vet also disputed the space issue. The pools that our animals live in are always going to be smaller and shallower than the ocean. What we are trying to do is provide an environment where these animals can safely exhibit normal behaviors and social interactions, he said. As for the depths and distances that dolphins swim, it is true, they can dive very deep and swim very far. But these animals are smart, so, given the choice. They typically inhabit shallow waters to avoid predators and only swim as far as they need to to find a meal. The crowd at the popular tourist attraction seemed excited to be able to touch the animals and lined up promptly for their free kiss. As the dolphin jumped from the water in dramatic twists and turns the audience, mostly young families cheered and clapped. Mr. Pearson doesn't blame the crowd for wanting to see the beautiful animals and says they have done nothing wrong by buying a ticket. We are trying to raise awareness about these venues and how cruel it is to have animals performing tricks and living in shallow tanks, he said. I totally understand that when you come in and see them they seem happy and probably don't look mistreated, he continued. The vet, Dr. March said happiness can't be measured exactly, but the animals at the park are vet checked daily and don't show behavior of typical depression. Healthy is easier to answer because we can measure it. These animals have a more comprehensive health investigation regime than any other animals that I have worked with including daily physical exams and quarterly blood tests and the results show that they are in good health. The dolphins and seals live in chlorinated water, which is to keep them well, according to Dr. March. Every day we pump in fresh water from the estuary that we are adjacent to and we supplement this with small amounts of chlorine, which acts as a disinfectant. The seal pool in the park had just one furry guest during Daily Mail Australia's recent visit. The pool, looked about three meters across. The seal appeared to swim laps around the tank before sunning itself on a rock. One thing Mr. Pearson and Dr. March agreed on is the park's marine rescue program. A small tank behind the main dolphin stage contained two turtles with various injuries, being treated to go back into the wild. 
The park has previously been the subject of controversy surrounding the size of their dolphin pools. An advertisement was posted on the back of a bus in 2015 showing a dolphin stuck in a fish bowl and calling for the park to change its approach with the popular animals.